Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick review on the GANS 3 version 2. Now this is not a complete mechanism overhaul, it's not like their second, you know, cube or anything like that. It's still their first cube, it's just had a little bit of modifications done to it. And in all honesty, when I saw the differences on the speed solving forum, I, uh, I, I didn't think it was really going to matter too much or, or do anything different. And I wasn't going to make a video about it, I was just going to talk about them in an average of 12. But the little tiny things that they did actually makes a huge difference. Now I've been using the version 1 for quite a while as my main and it works for me. It's not the best cube on the market, but it does work for me um, and it gets me very good times. The version 2 is definitely an improvement on the version 1 which is really weird because the minor differences they've done are, are just so small you wouldn't think that it would make any difference. So I'll show you some pictures right now. You can see on the left this is before and the one on the right is after so version 1 and version 2 in the squares. Let's focus on the top squares of both of these pieces. I don't really notice that much of a difference. Uh, I can see a little bit of a difference but really not that much. Uh, on the bottom squares, you can see the point of the torpedo has definitely been smoothed over on the one on the right. So that's a definite uh, thing that you can notice in this picture. In this picture, you can see that these are also edge pieces. And uh, the square on the left is definitely really sharp on that corner. And on the right, it's totally smoothed over. It's very obvious. But then again, it's still a very, very small little difference. I didn't think would make very much difference. This picture here shows that there was an alignment issue when you put the pieces together during the assembly process. On the left is version 1 and you can see that the top part of this um, this edge piece is slightly to the left. On the one on the right it's a perfect match. And I didn't think that was going to make such a huge difference at all. I honestly didn't. But it did. It made a huge difference. This cube is just 100% smoother. Um, I got this, uh, usually I get DIYs, but this one came assembled um, and you know there was, I haven't had to do anything to it. It's I, I'm still going to sticker it just like I did this one. It's my color scheme and my logo, of course. Um, but other than that, I don't. The tensions are perfect. It's been pre-lubed with something. I'm guessing silicone, but it it really there's no spring noise. It just out of the box is absolutely perfect. Now the Gans 3 isn't the best at corner cutting. You see, it can't really cut 45 at least on this tensions, but it can cut this much very very easily. And I mean. That's really all I need to cut, if that. And reverse corner cutting has always been good on this puzzle as well. Especially small amounts is really effortless. And that remains the same on version 2. Uh, what, what's really you know different about this cube is just the f how fluid it is compared to the version 1. The version 1 is a little bit blocky. But I really like the feel of it, which is why I'm using it as my main. Um, this one here, it's just got, I don't know, it's just more fluid than the other one. It uh, seems to go faster. I'm getting better times on it. Um, it's got that same feeling that I like about the GANS 1, uh, version 1, except it's just better, it's smoother. Um, so that's that's really all there is to say about this. I, I do want to show you um, the box. It's basically the same box, um, but what came in the box was a little bit different. So it came with another set of stickers, which is, okay, that's going to add to my collection of stickers. I probably have hundreds of sticker sets. Now, what you used to, to tension it used to be this, uh, you know, this metal, you know, tool, and now it's this tool. So the way you tension this is you take off a cap, and you can see the nut in there just like before, and this fits over top. And I'm guessing they made it plastic because it's cheaper to make and it works. Now I've moved it around and it, it it's perfectly molded for the nut, so it's not too big, it's not too small, it fits perfectly, and that's how you tension this cube. Um, so yeah, not, not very much differences, but there are some differences and they're so small, but make such a huge difference. So I'll do one quick solve before I'm done here. I'll just go ahead and scramble it up. All right. Okay. All right, so you can see there's no lockups. It's a it's a very good cube. Um, so for me, I still don't think the Gans is the best on the market, but it's definitely one of the best now. Um, now, what is the best? I don't know. It's the best for me. I can say that. But I think you know from reading around and, and stuff like that, a lot of people are liking the Moyu waste or uh, Moyu uh, 
way long these days and stuff. So I think the majority would say that this isn't the best cube on the market, but it is one of the best. So this is definitely gonna be my main. I'm gonna go sticker it and I will upload an average of 12 in the near future using this cube. So if you would like to buy this puzzle, of course, like usual, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video.